hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our php admin panel series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to do the password hashing and password verification in php mysql so now guys let's get started so first let us move at uh, creating the user so basically in our dashboard we are adding the admin or user here and if you click on add user here is the way to add so now guys while we enter the password we need to hash the password okay hashing means it should accept some um, random number and string values okay instead of giving a direct password or a string value so for example if you see here we are storing the password as numbers or alphabet so guys we will be encrypting the password using bcrypt function in php so now guys let's get started so first let's move to this inside admin folder where we are going to on the user create dot php file and there we are creating the user right so let's move there let me close all the files okay so let's move inside admin folder and here we are on the user create dot php so let's move on the button so here is a save user button on this form submit we are going to the action that is code.php so let's move on the code.php and find for the button that is save user okay so here is our password input and now we have to hash this password using bcrypt function in php okay so guys let's use here dollar hashed password equal to user password hash function where you'll pass the variable that dollar password give comma and then password by crypt guys so password be crypt done let's give semicolon and you have your hash password let's copy this hash password and paste inside the insert query that's it guys so at the place of password we are storing the hash password and now while updating we need to do the same part so let's copy this code and go below so here is our update user so inside this update user also we need to change let's paste here now we can copy this and paste here on the password place equal to hash password so now let's save guys and let's move back so here you see we have three users let me create one new user user 2 some random digit phone number and user2 at gmail.com and password I'm going to keep 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and role will be as user let's save so here you see user added successfully let's move back browse so here you see guys that instead of saving the string it has bicrypted the password okay so it has changed now and now guys same way if you want all the users you can just edit and update that password so i'm going to change the admin password here one two three four five six seven eight and let's update okay updated successfully now you can get back to the database refresh so here you see guys that password has been changed okay it has bicrypted so now let us try to log in with the password okay so first let me log out click log out okay we have logged out successfully refresh now if you give the email id admin at gmail.com let's copy that and paste here and now i am going to give the password one two three four five six seven eight and click on login guys here you see invalid email or password because we have not written the code for password verification so let's go back and directly move to the login.php file so i'm in this file login.php and here is our form so on this submit button the button name is login button on this login button submit you are going to form action login code.php so let's move there so we are on the login code.php and on the button of login button okay so here we have to check the password verification 
so now guys let's get started so first step you need to remove here this code so let me just comment this copy and paste and keep as a backup so first step guys you are going to check only with the email done and now let's move below here at this row so first we are going to take the password guys your hashed password hashed password equal to dollar row of password okay so this is your stored password from your database record done so now guys you need to check in a if condition password underscore verify function dollar password your entered password that is raw password okay and then checking with the hashed password so let's copy this hashed password and paste here so now let me copy this and paste here and if doesn't match then redirect back and tell invalid password okay so what in case of email you can just type here in this and here you have to leave the invalid email id only okay and let's remove this password part done so now guys let us just run this code and test okay so refresh once let's try to login admin at gmail.com and i'm going to give wrong password that is one two three four five six let's log in so here you see invalid password and i'm going to give a wrong email id and give the correct password hit enter invalid email id and now let us give the correct credentials so admin at gmail.com with the correct password one two eight and let's click login here you see you are logged in successfully perfect guys so guys we have successfully learned how to do the password hashing and password verification in php mysql okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share